Monday the 21st, heading over for a blood draw at 7.30. And uh, that's my first step of the day. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I just returned from my blood draw this morning. I, that didn't take that many. It took about six or eight vials. Um, part of it's for just regular testing, as they normally would do, but also they're testing. This is the day I do the, the trial with the uh, synthetic antibody infusion. So they took, they took blood for that as well. And what's so great about it is the technology here is so amazing that when I meet with my doctor, Dr. Maury Gertz at 9.30, they'll have some of those results back. So it's just incredible. Um, Overall, I'm feeling pretty good, man. I mean, no complaints. I got my 24-hour urine study here, which started yesterday about 2 o'clock. I was on my Delta flight and had to use the restroom. And, of course, it stores easily in the overhead compartment. Just got to take care of my health, get some sleep, and, and do the right thing. So, anyway, thank you for your support. My sister's with me today, so we're about to walk. Well, we're going to go downstairs and have some breakfast, and then we're going to walk over and do this thing. So, uh I'm feeling great. My mindset is fantastic, and thank you for your love and support, as always. All right, after this incredible breakfast, we're heading over to see Dr. Gertz. I'm here with my sister Heidi Brown from Walnut Creek. Hey, hey. How are you doing, Heidi? I'm good, yeah. Excellent. I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Thanks for coming. No. And uh, we are on our way. Hey, let's do it, Nicole. To get a height and weight on you today. Okay. After going through the exam and telling Dr. Gertz that I was having tremendous pain in my feet, along with numbness, and the fact that my markers had not moved in a positive direction for three months, he decided it was time to make a change in the chemo treatment. Okay. <laughs> well, here we are at the Mayo Clinic, and I'm with Everett, and this is Melanie. Everett is 78 years old, yeah. and this is uh, Melanie, that's his daughter. And we started talking and uh, he has multiple myeloma. And oddly enough, he was getting treated with the same treatment that I was, the Cyborg D, the <clears throat> injection of Velcade in the, the stomach and the cy cyclophosphamate pills and then the dexamethasone. So the reason I'm making this video is I didn't have such good success with that, so he just changed me to a different treatment. Uh, but Everett here, about a year, he's been on it for about 15 months. He's now 78, he could barely walk and he was having issues. Uh, and now his, his light chain amyloids went from 236, which is off the charts. To put it in perspective, mine started at 16. And he's down to a normal rate now of two, 2.36, and mine are about 10. So I heard your story today, which gave me yeah. tremendous hope. Yeah. And uh, you're feeling good, and a year ago you weren't driving, now you're driving up here every week. Yeah, yeah. So you're feeling pretty good. Yes. Any, uh, any special diet you're doing or anything like that? Uh, just what's the off the salt is the only That's thing. That's right. That, yeah. Not just the salt. Yeah. So, anyway, you're the same age as my mother, and you look great. You're walking, and I'm yes. so I'm so proud of you, man. And, and it gives me inspiration. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good. So I'm glad I met you today. Yeah, I met you. And I'm glad I met you both. So yep. continued success. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's it. So we started the new treatment today, which consists of an IV drip rather than the injection into my subcutaneous fat in my abdomen. So not only did I get the IV today with the new treatment, but of course I did my antibody infusion, which is part of the double blind study that I'm doing. The new treatment consists of two days in a row of IV drips. So today I was hooked up to the IV for about five to five and a half hours. It's a grind. So I'll be back tomorrow for the second day. Hey, here we are at Mayo Clinic, uh, the 22nd of August, which is a Tuesday. We're not supposed to be here. 
Uh, we'll do a little recap of yesterday. So he came in for my treatment, you know, normal situation. Uh, he went through the readings. We had three of the markers and all three did not go in the right direction. And actually two of them went in the wrong direction. So uh, given the fact that I had consistent muscle weakness and severe neuropathy in my feet, which is something I really don't talk about, but my feet feel like snow and you can like break them off like icicles. Uh, he made some switches, made switches to a new, uh, new chemo program, uh, which includes uh, an IV rather than that shot that I typically get in my abdomen. I get an IV twice a week in, in an oncology center, along with some different pills, which are called Revlimid. And so they're very controlled pills and uh, kind of dangerous pills. So anyway, it's a big change. And, and Heidi, I want to ask you, seeing him kind of diagnose this thing and you know picking these new drugs and just boom all of a sudden making a change what was your thought how did how did you process that um wow i mean he comes in he takes the information about your feet and some symptoms you're having and knows that this drug um could cause and you'll know the names the, vel you know, the velcade the injection yeah, yeah um you know the side effects or not wanting to continue with that based on on uh, the symptoms that you're having and then he puts together a treatment plan and he kind of goes over it with you, you know, explaining it so that you understand now that you've gone through so many treatments. Um, yeah, and I'm just trying to take it all in. And um, yeah, he goes with it. It's kind of, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's amazing. Um, and you just, you trust, I guess. Yeah, it's, and have it's faith. Like it's, faith. it's faith. I mean, I could say no or I could say, oh, I want to get a second opinion, but man, you're in it, you're in the process, and you just roll with it, and sometimes, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, you know, yeah. I trust this guy, he's the number one guy for amyloidosis in the, in the country, but also number one guy in the world, so, I mean, like, what am I going to do, say, I'm going to get a second opinion from the B player, you know? <laughs> do, do some Google search on the draw, you know, because, yeah. So that's the game summary, so we are here, uh, unexpectedly, on a Tuesday, and I think I've got pretty much the same clothes I had on yesterday. Actually, I changed my shirt yesterday after a couple hours, but this is the one I started out with. So, you know, we're rolling with it. I've got about a three-hour session today, and then we'll be flying home. And I was hoping to be home last night so I could get a full day's rest before I go to Chicago, but that's not happening. So, and Heidi was gracious enough to take another day from her family, so I thank you for that. Yeah, glad I could do it. And uh, here we are. So we're going to go back up to the oncology room, get hooked up for about three hours. And we are going to be on our way and, of course, trusting this is the right cocktail mix to help me get to where I want to go. Uh, you know, and the main factor was is my light chain, my, my light chain proteins were not moving. And that's the biggest one as the test for amyloids. Uh, and then this NP, NT Pro BNP, which uh, measures heart efficiency, actually went up to almost the same numbers as it was before I got treated, which was not a good sign. Uh, and then the M spike pretty much stayed the same, and insignificant. So, you know, like, look, he said, your, your body is getting ripped up and you're not getting any benefit. So what would, would it make sense? What, what sense does it make to stay with the same situation? Right. So he's a smart dude. So we flipped a coin and we went with it. <laughs> and we'll know in 30 days, right? Be back well, we'll in mid-September. Yeah, September and see if I'm still kicking. All right. Thanks for coming. We're out of here. I'm sure we, today we got a room with a view. Oh, killing me. Well, yesterday the view was better. That's all good. It's all good. Yeah. 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 We have more. Sounds like something my dad would do, but my dad's a cat napper. One, two, three. Sure, you want to be a roller. Oh, uh, excuse me. You're pulling my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I am pulling your hand on purpose. I'm not wiggling. <laughs> no, it blew. Hold really still. Got it. So, just like salespeople have a bad sales day, she was unsuccessful today with the first IV. No big deal. We'll give it another shot.
all you have to do is just switch the, mm -hmm. switch the top. And you got it. Yep. Simple. 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 About six or seven minutes, it'll start beeping, and we okay. try to catch it. Just all right. So I'm here at Mayo for my 17th treatment. I've got this new chemo going and, you know, things always work out for me. So we've got Joan in here. <clears throat> Joan is a volunteer and she is working me up here on the right forearm and, and hand. And then I've got volunteer number two down here, <laughs> oh, Heidi Brown bad. from Walnut Creek. And she's got the foot going. And, you know, I've not got the neuropathy, so I'm just starting to feel my feet. And uh, things couldn't be better. I don't know if I'm healing or not, but I feel good. Right. And I'm about to drip out here, and we're about to get to the car, and so... It's one minute. Yeah, we are, we're doing great. So that's an update from Mayo. Yep, game time. In the elevator at the where are we? The Regency? I have no idea. The uh, Regency? I don't know. We're, we're at the Regency Chicago. Okay. Just got in from my speaking event, which is tomorrow at four with Cigna. Right. We're gonna go take a look at the room right now. Looking out the room here, it looks great. Uh, well lit. We got two uh, two big screens here, left and right. Stage is lit perfectly. Room set for about 300, so I'm ready to go. So it's always good, obviously, to test out the room before you get there so you can have a good feeling for the stage. And so, uh, we just checked out the room. It's beautiful. It's well set up. It's well lit. Let's do it. So it's Thursday the 24th, getting ready for my keynote talk. And uh, it's been a crazy day. Here we go, Thursday, August 24th. I am going downstairs for my keynote talk at Cigna. It's been kind of crazy. I had this new chemotherapy, two days of infusions or IVs. It's funky. So I am rising up right now and it's game time. Can't say that I'm feeling great right now, but when I walk in, it's game time. Level 10, baby, on fire. I have to go one hour and these people are gonna walk out with tools and skills. They're gonna help them have their best enrollment period ever. It's almost open enrollment for these agents. I'm gonna help them have their best open enrollment ever. Let's do this. You know, it's one of those things where it's game time, you gotta get yourself ready to play. I'm excited about it. And of course, they don't know any of that stuff's going on and they don't have to. So we're just gonna rock and roll. They're gonna be on fire. We're gonna crush it. They're gonna walk out with tools and strategies they need to grow their business and have their best open enrollment ever. So stay tuned, and it's going to be rocking. Perspective um, relative to welcome Dan.